Hello, welcome to a way to deal learning part two. Today we will be learning primitives. We start with lesson with Trident and Skybox. Basically, we want to set up our environment for testing better. Then I will show you what kind of geometries a way to do supports, what is a mesh, and what kind of wireframes a way to do supports. Let's open a way 3D playground project tutorial 2 primitive.s class. Let's make it main class. We use the same file structure as we used in first tutorial. First of all, we see embedded pictures. Those pictures are needed for skybox. Basically, I copied it from example. We have our view window into 3D world. We have scene our 2d world stats we have our light we will use basic red color material in our example and bitmap texture for sky cube so we start by setting up our uh, view scene we add lights we start our simple camera we need our two materials. So first will be just red color material with some transparency on it. Second one will be a picture material to form a cube. Again, I just copied those from the example, but I want to leave textures for further tutorial, so I won't be talking much about these. I will start with Trident. Trident is a little primitive, creative for debugging. Let's see how it looks like. As you see, it's just three arrows with letters to help navigate into D space. Next, let's add a skybox. Skybox is another primitive. We use it to create environment or sky in our 3D world. We need a special box texture for that. The corners of this texture is specially bent, so when we see it in angle, it looks like it real 3D environment. So you don't see a box. Let's add a cube. Now, first of all, we need a geometry. Geometry is a data class. It holds it holds 3D information. It holds information like vertices, UV coordinates, triangles, everything that's needed to render 3D object. Now we will start with cube geometry. Cube geometry will accept a couple parameters. So first three is size of the cube. Then you can specify how much segments you want this cube to have. More segments you specify, more triangles will be created to render a cube, and more detailed it will be. Also, you can specify how material is used for this cube. Then we have geometry and material. We can create 3D mesh. 3D mesh is a 3D object that can be placed in the scene and rendered. But for mesh to work correctly, it needs two things. It needs a geometry and it's a material. We will use red material everywhere in our examples. And we will use Q that we just created. Both of these objects can be reused in different meshes in different situations. So reusability here is very good. Let's position it in 3D space and let's add this cube into 3D scene. Let's see how it looks like. Here we have a 3D cube with transparent red texture. Next, let's create a sphere. Again, we will start by creating a geometry. We have a sphere geometry. It needs a radius. Also, we can specify segments of how much details we want to have. Again, let's create a mesh. We will use our sphere geometry and red color material to create that mesh. 
position it and add it to scene. Also, very similar is capsule geometry. For capsule geometry, we have extra parameter height, and everything else is the same. I will show you how it differs. Here we go, we have a sphere and we have a capsule. So it's basically sphere cut in half and added a cylinder. We also can have cone and cylinder in very same way. So for cone, we create a cone geometry. For cone geometry, we need radius of the base, the height, and again the segment. We also can control whether it's closed or open. For cylinder, we have top and bottom radius. We also have height, segments, and whether it's closed or open. Again, we will create meshes for those objects. We will reuse material and we will add it to scene. This is how it looks like. Here we go, we have a cylinder and we have a cone. Now, as you see, cone looks a bit weird. This is because in a better version it has a bug. In the release version it's already fixed. This white lines you see it outline. We can add it by setting show bounds to true. This is very convenient for debugging. Additionally to objects we can have planes. Again we start with geometry. We have a plane geometry with width and height and how detailed you want it to be segmented. Again, we'll create a mesh for it, we'll reuse the red color material, position it and add it to scene. And similar object is polygon. Again, we create geometry, create a mesh by using geometry and material and add it to scene. Let's check how it looks like. This is a plane, it's basically a square in 3D world, and this is a polygon. You can control how much corners polygon has by settings. As you see, if you look at from beneath, you don't see them. From above, you see them. It's because the texture is rendered only from one side. We also have torus geometry, but torus currently is commented out because it is not in the beta version. It will be released with a W3D gold version. Along with simple 3D objects, we can have wireframes. Now, wireframes are special 3D objects. They don't have faces, they have only lines. And they are very good for debugging. For instance, let's start with wireframe axis grid and wireframe grid. As you see, we see like a plane, but created only from lines, and also those wire grids for axis that's very good for debugging. So wireframes don't need geometry, they don't need material, you just create them and add it to scene. We also have wireframe cube, wireframe sphere, and wireframe plane. Let's see how they look. Here you go, wireframe cube, sphere, and a plane. Why we have 
wireframe plane and wireframe grid, I don't know. Most likely one is deprecated. This is it. This is all currently available away 3D primitives. Most likely we'll have more in the future. Feel free to start playing around with parameters, see how they affect primitives. Also, start having fun with 3D. With things that you already know, you can create 3D Tetris or a little colorful solar system. All you need to do is add those objects into scene and start changing parameters on enter frame. Thank you for listening. Next lesson will be about materials.